Hi everyone, my name is Adam Chamberlain from Elite Pro Golf and today we're going to talk about pitching, short shots are ground the green. We're going to lead on from the wedge video we did the other week. Now, most people struggle around the greens for a couple of really simple under misunderstandings and also some fear. So what we often see here is people with the ball back, hands forwards, or they drive the handle forwards this way, or they flick the hands at it this way. So we're going to give you a really good drill to help fix this today, get everything matched together and help you hit some really nice short game shots around the green and small pitch shots. Okay, so what do we need? Well, we've talked about the bounce and the importance of the sole hitting the ground and sliding through. Now, what you need to understand is when the handle's a long way forwards, you take all the bounce off. When the handle's a long way back, you expose a lot of the bounce. So we try to avoid both of those two extremes. Now, from setup here, we're gonna have the ball pretty centered in our stance. Stance width very narrow, not much wider than a club. Now our weight is even or slightly on our front foot. Now from here, what we're trying to do is we don't want excessive handle lean forwards this way or backwards. So that's obviously to make sure that we use the correct bounce. So the handle wants to be just in front of the club head. And when we come back to impact, we're trying to just replace the club in the same position that it was at address. That's what we're trying to do. Now a lot of people struggle because they drive the handle forwards or they flick the club head at the ball and then they struggle. So one of the key things to do in these short game shots and people kind of freeze here is they don't understand that you actually need to keep our bodies moving. You have to have a little bit of turn from the knees, from the hips and from the torso. We need to make sure everything's moving. And what happens is that they either do that or they separate the arms from the torso. So what we're trying to do today with this really good drill is we're going to try and connect our, our right arm to our body and we're going to learn, so we're putting our hand just above kind of our elbow area here, okay, so that our lead hand's off. For me, the left hand is just above here. Now from here, we're going to try and turn back, turn through and keep this arm connected to the body. So what we're trying to do here, if you want it technically, we're trying to keep the right arm very close to the right side as we turn and pivot in this small swing. And what you'll find as you do this, you'll strike the club really, really nicely. And it also helps us deliver the club with the correct loft, providing we don't add some flick here or we don't drive the hand. So we're trying not to do that. By having this hand here, we're trying to keep it close to the torso. And the feeling probably is in this exercise is that the turn is almost hitting the shot. Okay, and what you'll find is you'll be able to hit some really, really nice, simple shots up onto the green and you'll be amazed how simple it is to hit these shots. Now, the pitfalls from here, what can we do wrong here? So what should we be aware of? Well, one of the things we must be aware of is that we don't whip the club too much inside. So we need to make sure that we almost set the club up slightly. Let the wrist take a little bit of the weight of the club before you start. So then when you turn back, you get the club up here, rather than if it's on the floor, you can drag it inside. And then as we come down, we hit a lot of the ground first and that's why we struggle. Now remember, we're allowing the turn. Our body is allowed to move and we're turning through. So let the turn hit the shot. And I say, you'll be amazed how simple it is. So recap, we're trying to make sure that we keep our arms connected to our body as we turn. We're trying to deliver the correct impact position this way, not driving the arms and separating because you get some right funny looks this way or this way. And this is disaster for short game shots. So let's simplify it. This is not easy. Practice this in the garden without a ball or on the practice area without a ball first. Try it, I promise, if you practice this for a long period of time, your short game worries will go away.